Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to look on a Outlook web app policy. We will try to create a new Outlook web app policy and we will see the changes on a mailbox after applying the Outlook web app policy. So let's get started. So right now I am on a client computer and let's have a look on a user's mailbox that is a Larry user and you can see here if you see here you have a mail calendar people and task and if you go here in a setting you can see the option like change theme offline settings so uh, if you want to restrict these some of these feature to be loaded for a user we have to apply a web app policy so how we can apply that to restrict it let's go to our server so now I am on a server and in order to apply a web app policy you can just navigate to a permission and here you have a Outlook web app policies you can click on Outlook web app policies there will be a default policy it's a by default you will have a default policy there and if you want to create a new one I will just create a new one by clicking on a plus sign and I will say for example restricted policy okay so what all the option we have here if you want to disable the instant messaging I can disable the instant messaging text messaging unified messaging I don't want this user to uh, have a look on a contact or having a exchange active sync or mobile device contact sync I want to disable the journaling I want a uh, user uh, cannot change the password or junk email filtering or user cannot change the theme and we have a more option here we can disable the calendar task and and I want to disable the direct access on a shared computer so I want to disable this feature so uh, after disabling this feature I will click on save so this policy has been created by the name of a restricted policy and uh, now I want to apply it on a user like I want to apply it on a Larry so let's go to the recipients and here you can see a uh, Larry is a user here and at the right side pane and you can see email you can see email connectivity outlook on the web that is enabled if you want to disable the outlook on a web that means the complete outlook on a web will be disabled for Larry so we don't want to disable the all the feature of a outlook on the web but uh, uh, we want to apply the policy on it so we will click on browse and we will go to the restricted policy and we will click on OK and I will click on save so I hope this policy will be applied to a Larry only and let's see the mailbox of Larry now I have signed out the Larry user and now let's try to log in again with the Larry user and let's see if the policy is applied to Larry or not so I'm signing it on a Larry user and we are successfully signed in and let's see uh, option like if we have a theme option there or not because we have disabled it so I will go to the setting and now you can see we do not have a theme option for Larry if we log in with the another user we will have the theme option but now the Larry do not have a theme option here and earlier we were having a calendar task feature inside this but now we can see only a mail feature we have restricted those feature for Larry so right now the Larry is not able to see the other feature I hope you found the video informative and now you are able to apply Outlook web app policy for a user mailbox so please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos and thank you for watching